Hi guys and welcome to another video here in Attingham on FS22 with me Talpa. So we now have officially moved in to Brompton Farmhouse here in Attingham Park. Um, before we were staying at the hotel and working at the uh, biogas plant. Well, we have now officially moved in and we're setting ourselves up here at the farm. So we did bring over some of the leased equipment like the JCB, but also we brought over our purchased equipment like the wind rower, um, got another tractor, little Fiat Agri, baler, mower, cedar, header there. So yeah, got ourselves set up here. Now I have seeded this field here with canola so we have got at least one crop field now but on today's job list we have currently got a worker um, harvesting potatoes for a contract he's actually full so we better unload him we're doing this big field as a contract which is going to be worth about 90,000 pounds so it's a good lump of cash so today's jobs will be looking after the guy in the uh, potato harvester here And luckily we haven't got to take these very far they go into the hotel which is just over there in town and this is a gigantic field for potatoes so gonna take quite a bit of time to finish this I don't know if we'll finish it in this video because I'm gonna go and do another contract as well which is cultivating a field so we're gonna be swapping between cultivating and running these potatoes up to the hotel once we're full here but yeah I've been doing this video uh, this video this field off screen and just to get to this point has taken such a long time but it'll be worth it in the end because we'll get, like I said, I think we're going to get about 90, maybe 95,000 pounds for doing this. Which is really good. Now let's run this stuff up to the hotel. not quite sure how many potatoes a, ho a hotel actually needs but uh, having this many potatoes they must really get through get through it all their guests they just must feed everybody on just potatoes I think Quite 
a bit of traffic, but we'll pull out. Use the JCB power. got to watch out for people crossing the road as we turn in here don't want to run anybody over yeah so it's this second trigger here just that little um, that little box there which, you know, clearly has a bottomless um, box there because it's not filling up. I think, uh, I think that's a Mary Poppins box, that. Technically didn't go out the right way there, but nobody saw. Right, so we'll see he's carrying on with that. Let's take a look at our contracts here. Mm, field 40. So how big is field 40? Field 40 there, so quite big. Twenty eight or forty six and forty six is going to be bigger. Well, let's go for the middle one and let's borrow <laughs> items. We haven't currently got cultivator. Um, So we'll just borrow it. And a nice big Fent 1050 here. I think it's a 1050. Yeah. Right. Let's get the map up because I'm not exactly sure how we get into that field. Looks as though we go down towards the biogas plant though. some hay to pick up <clears throat> well I'll be that's not good that's eh, not too bad of a size Yeah, at some point I'll have to pick that hay up as well. Quite a big cultivator. And let's just keep an eye out for when our T-1050 
potato harvester is full. It should pop up there under the uh, information at the top right hand side of the screen. So unless I've missed it, it should tell me when he's 80% full. There we go. So let's jump over. Use the old teleportation device. Now, of course, we can put safely drive over crop here without destroying it as potatoes are a root vegetable so they're underground as long as we're not chewing anything up we're fine all right so let's let him carry on Because that contract did give us two tractors and trailers. Um, so we can afford to just fill them both. Before we run them to the hotel. Yeah, the goal with cash is hopefully once we finish this and the potato harvest, we should have a, have over two hundred thousand. Um, I think I'd like to purchase another crop field because currently we've got. 36 as a crop field and it is very small so I think it'd be nice for us to get another crop field this is going to be a little bit tricky here um, may have to just raise the arm up there sometimes you got to raise it up to get around the corner um, but yeah it'd be nice to get another crop field and then start producing some crop different types of crop um, and then that way we've got a, a source of straw as well because we've got two really decent grass fields so we're going to be fine in terms of silage and hay but obviously look into the future for getting cows we need to make sure that we can make straw and with the one tiny crop field that we've got right now we're not going to be able to make enough straw to sustain ourselves so that is the plan of action get some money get another crop field We do also have a greenhouse currently at Brompton Farm. We um, 
currently growing some lettuce. Which is really good money, actually, for lettuce. I think what it would do as well is um, ah, worker C is blocked by an object so let's just get back to the start point here and then we'll hop over see what our work is stuck on or blocked by I know there are some trees in that field, so maybe it's a tree or something. get ourselves lined up for this next lap right, let's leave that there go and see oh yeah <laughs> I guess it would help if I didn't park the tractor in the way what a noob Let's empty this out whilst we're here. Still got a big chunk of field left to do. I can't wait to one day own this field. Don't know what I'm going to put in it, but it definitely will not be potatoes. I mean, they're not a bad crop to do, but the trouble is, is that I mean, I guess there will be a mod for a bigger header for the potato harvester, but pretty much all the standard in-game potato harvesters have a very small working width. So it takes you ages and ages to do a field. I swear I've aged about 10 years since I've been doing this field. I'm positively going grey. Uh, yeah, just uh, testing out the strength of the windowsill there. There's Frank stood in the road. Frank needs to get out of the road. So close, but so far away. Let's hop back to the old cultivator. I would like to take this opportunity, though, and say 
a massive thank you to all my recent nearly full to all my uh, new subscribers kind of had a, a little influx of subscriptions lately which has been awesome to see it's really appreciated and that's not just new subscribers if you have subscribed just thank you so much it really does mean a lot I probably say that too much but you know it's uh, it's just fantastic that there's people out there that want to watch what I do and if you are watching this and you're not subscribed then please smash all those buttons like subscribe comment and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be alerted when I put out videos and as I've said many times before I don't put out a ton of videos um, and I keep trying to do more but I've got so much else going on or I'm just too lazy one or the other but if you guys have checked out my channel please find a link to my twitch account in the description to this video um, come and give me a follow on there because at some point I'll be doing some live streaming on there on this game and um, a couple of others I've got to figure out some kind of schedule Um, and also, you may have noticed that I did put a little highlight of a DJ mix onto my YouTube channel from Twitch. So I will be doing some DJ live streaming. So if you are into your EDM or dubstep or just music in general then come and give me a follow for that and then probably that'll be kind of a a weekend thing from a DJ live streams on a Friday or Saturday night but yeah come and uh, come and join in and chat with me whilst I'm DJing listen to some hopefully some good tunes better go and empty 
the spud harvester and just grab this little bit here Right, let's take a look. Give me all them taters. I do love potatoes though. I mean obviously chips are nice, fries are nice, um But my favourite way, or probably my two favourite ways to have potatoes, is mashed or roasted. I think if, if I had to make a choice, like if I had a choice where it was you can eat potato but there's only one way you can have it I think I'd have to go with mashed mashed potato with cheese in it and finely chopped chives or spring onions absolutely beautiful yeah. It's a great bridge. Let's just take a second to go and admire the bridge here in town. It's just a really gorgeous spot down here. I've 
to bring my fishing rod and chuck a line out under the bridge. Reckon there'd be some some big old fish hanging around there. Right now we haven't got time for fishing. It's just work, work, work. Potatoes. I'm going to be dreaming about potatoes tonight. Sort this out. But yeah, I think we're approaching the half hour mark for this video. So probably not gonna I don't know, maybe we can finish this field. See how we go for time. Take it to the 35 minute mark. We've got a few minutes left to go. And then off camera, finish up these jobs. We'll get one more pass in and then I'm going to end the video. Don't want this to um, go on too long. One, because I don't want to bore the pants off you. And two, any videos that are over half an hour long, they take me so long to upload. My upload speed is 
shocking to say the least. Well, I just wanted to make a video and let you guys see where we are, are at on the farm. And what jobs we're doing. And then hopefully by the next video we'll have got a new crop field. Maybe even this one. This would be a good one because it's close to the farm and it's a reasonable size as well. So we might even get this field. So let's uh, get lined up on the end of here. I know it's just saved, but we'll give it another save. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. So, again, thank you so much for coming to watch my video. Uh, it is much appreciated. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. Um... But most importantly, take care of yourselves and uh, see you next time on the farm. Bye for now.